Hello everyone, Astar Staking Festival has been live since yesterday and based on the total value locked and total STR staked, I can tell most of you is already staking. Still, let me show you few more details about STR staking. First, a little but very useful update on Astar app here on the right above vested ASTR balance. There has been added claimable ASTR balance. So this claimable ASTR is the amount of accumulated vested tokens which you can now unlock to make those ASTR transferable. Also, the button for unlocking your claimable ASTR has been updated. Now to unlock your tokens, you need to click on this vesting info button. Then click on unlock available tokens, sign the transaction and your tokens will be added to your transferable balance here. Now the staking. Up here there is some basic info about the total STR and the total value locked in staking pools, total account of debts and the number of blocks until the next era. One era lasts approximately 24 hours on a star network. You can see that the current staking APR is around 25%, so it has dropped from the original 160% a lot. I calculated that in total approximately 1.4 billion STR will be distributed for Cloud Loan Rewards. So since also locked STR can be staked, in theory all those 1.4 billion STR can be staked right now. I would expect the APR will eventually stabilize around 20 to 23 percent. So eventually it is not such a great staking festival with insane APR as was originally claimed, but it is simply due to the fact that also locked ASTR can be staked. In comparison, current APR for staking Glimmer tokens still holds around 120 percent, but you needed to contribute at least 40 DOT to Moonbeam to have now unlocked at least 50 Glimmer tokens to be able to stake, while staking STR is available simply for everyone. Still, I think putting your STR to work to grow your STR bags is much better than selling for such a low price currently trading at 13 cents. There are now 28 staking pools available and it doesn't matter which one you choose, all of them will provide the same APR. If you haven't staked yet, you need to stake in one of those pools with a green bar. There is a limit of maximum 512 stakers for each staking pool and you need to have at least 500 STR to stake. You will see your stake in that particular staking pool right here. So you can stake all your balance, including locked tokens, just make sure to leave few STR for transaction fees. Your staked STR amount does not auto-compound with received staking rewards, so your rewards are not automatically restaked. Thus, every time you receive rewards, you will need to add it to your current stake by clicking on Add button. Now, important note, based on what was mentioned in Astar Discord, it looks like in order to receive staking rewards for that particular era, we need to leave our STR staked in the pool until the end of era, Otherwise, there will be no rewards. So keep that in mind. If you are unstaking, it is better to leave it after the current era ends. Up here, simply check how many blocks there are left until the next era. One block lasts roughly 12 seconds. Speaking of the staking rewards, they are distributed right after era ends, so after every 24 hours. So since era 1 finished yesterday, all of you who have been staking since yesterday have already received your first staking rewards. You can check your daily staking rewards on astar.subscan.io after adding your address under rewards and slash tab. Staking rewards need to be claimed to be added to your transferable balance, but you don't have to worry about claiming as the pool owner or anyone else from the stake pool will always claim the rewards for all other stakers in the pool. At least this was the case with the staking rewards yesterday. Remember, the person who clicks on the claim button will pay the transaction fees for everyone in that pool. For that reason, when you click on the claim button, here next to pending rewards, there will be displayed zero STR, meaning someone has already claimed the rewards from the previous era for you. So again, claimed staking rewards from the previous era will be automatically added to your total balance and also to ASTR transferable balance here. Now, real dApps will be deployed on Astar in about a month, so this staking festival providing 50% higher APR will last around one month and then the APR will drop to the level between 10 to 15%. At the moment, there is no unbonding period, so you can freely unstake your STR as you wish and if the price of STR token suddenly goes up and you will feel like selling your unlocked tokens, you can do so very quickly, still leaving your locked STR nicely staked. Also, there is no slashing, so you will never lose any of your staked STR. Now that's for the staking, but Sota Watanabe and his Astar team really delivers, so there is some more news. 
Astar shared on their Twitter the vision about how Debs taking portal will look like. The aim of Astar is to make this portal look like Apple's App Store. This is how UI for each dev will look like. Each application will have a dedicated page containing basic description, project details. There should be also a short video explainer about the project and other on-chain information. All those additional information about devs built on Astar will be very useful once this staking festival ends and classic dev staking is launched. All devs will offer different staking conditions. Some of them will offer different kickoff bonuses, NFTs and other incentives, as is the case with dApps staking on Shiden. And speaking of staking on Shiden, the current APR is only 10%. That is because half of distributed staking rewards goes to dApp developers on which we stakers can stake. This lower APR for stakers is on one side a negative aspect of dApp staking. However, when you look at the bigger picture, Debs built on Shiden and Astar are essential for the growth and wide adoption of both networks. So it was a smart move from Astar team to incentivize dev developers with appearing staking rewards so that they are motivated to build on Astar and Shiden. So I think dev staking along with WebAssembly smart contracts are one of the biggest Astar's competitive advantages compared to Moonbeam. But clearly thus far the market does not reflect on that as Moonbeam's market cap is at this moment 7 times higher than Astar's, with pretty much the same percentage of the circulating supply around 8%. I think Glimmer token is still holding up pretty well despite these tough market conditions which we are in right now. Makes me wonder what could be the price action of Glimmer once the sentiment in crypto space turns more bullish. That's all for today, happy Astar staking to everyone. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye bye.